Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to make a formula card. Now, when it comes to making a formula card, uh, you want to put as much information as possible, but without overloading things too much. But um, here are some tips on how to make one. Now, first, use only what you need. If you know what's going to be on an exam, for example, or what's going to be on a unit, you don't want to put every single formula on there unless they're going to test you on literally everything. So re really use the formulas that you feel are the most important and then kind of go from there. Now, depending on the instructor that you have, use as many examples as you can to help you understand how to apply the formula. Now, you may not be able to use those examples on the test if you are allowed formula cards, because some instructors might allow just the formulas, but not examples. But if it means to help you study going into the test, you might want to use two sets of formula cards, one with examples and one without examples. At the very least, you'll know how to um, apply them. And another tip, you want to write the formulas to make them understandable to you. So in other words, you might want to make some notes on certain terms to kind of help you understand what each formula is all about, what the individual parts are, if you will. So the bottom line is when it comes to writing a formula card, make sure that you write the card in a way that you understand it and are able to apply it very easily. So I'm Jimmy Chang and there are some tips on how to make a formula card.